This year, One Star Farm welcomed Independence Hall, a son of their successful young sire Constitution, to their stud barn. We spoke with Liam O'Rourke on the multiple graded stakes winner and the strong backing he'll be receiving by breeders in his first year. We're super excited to have Independence Hall come home to Windstar Farm to begin his stud career. Uh, we've been so fortunate over the last few seasons to have Constitution here. He's had such an electric start. We're very excited and very bullish on his future. So to, to, to add the next step and to have one of his sons retire to Windstar is, is very, very rewarding. Independence Hall came on our radar very early on. Uh, he broke his maiden extremely impressively um, up at Parks in a field that included uh, a couple future graded stake winners. Coming back in the Nashua to win by 12 and a half, to run a one-on-one -on -one buyer, the fastest two-year-old performance of the year, we started to realize that he was uh, gonna be a special horse. Um, a little later on when he, when he won the Jerome, we were able to you know, get involved in his career uh, right around that time. As an older horse, I mean, um, he started out with a bang, running a 104 buyer in the Pegasus, um, you know, just beaten by Superhorse in, in Nick's go. And the season was culminated by one of the talking performances of the Keeneland meet. There goes Code of Honor along with Independence Hall. Militarist is there toward the end. When he came out and, and won the Fayette, and he beat some really outstanding horses in that race and really showed what a, what a brilliant horse he was. Independence Hall, Javier Castellano, Moving by the 16th pole, Independence Hall wins the Hagyard Fayette. Well, I think he's a really great racehorse because of that high cruising speed. Um, he can get out there, he can run on the pace, he was tactical. We love that, that two-year-old form, that brilliance as a two-year-old, and when they can come back and be an elite older horse and, and knock heads with the best of the best in the country, um, that's, that's something that we find uh, um, really strong. Physically, he's a very impressive horse. Um, he has great size, great scope. He gets over a lot of ground. He's a big, beautiful, smooth walker. He's balanced, but he's masculine. Putting it all together and the way he can move and get over the ground, it kind of relate, relates to that high cruising speed that he had, and that seems to be something that, you know, all breeders, um, you know, kind of land on. One of the best parts of Independence Hall is the, is the support that we've built in. We've got a great group of shareholders and, and, and syndicate members with him. Along with that, we offered Independence Hall and the Dream Big program, which we, you know, we sold out on um, virtually overnight. So we've got some really good, good folks in there supporting the horse and uh, we'll send some really nice mares in his first couple of years. It's huge to have a son of one of our sires um, come home and retire here and, and join our, um, our, our stallion roster. Constitution really represents the next generation of what Windstar is going to be and, and, and we hope, you know, one of the most elite stallions in the country. So it's, it's a great step to be able to bring in one of his sons and I think where we have him priced it, he's very attractive to breeders. We've had a huge response so far to him and um, I think we, we just ticked all the boxes with where we put him. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.